friends. This video will explain how I put veins in lined elbows before or after they're already assembled. Here are my supplies. What I have here is a hat channel and I made it a certain dimension to where it will extend past the insulation. The current size of the insulation is one and a half. This elbow isn't a 90 degree elbow, so turning veins aren't usually required. But there's some air that needs assistance in this particular system, so I'll make it happen. I'll first start by cutting out the insulation where my vein extension will sit. After using a large breakaway knife to cut the insulation, I will then use my shoemaker pliers to pull the pin. You could use whatever you like. This is my preferred method. Carefully scrape this insulation off and save this piece, for as you'll see what's next, I'll actually insert it into this channel we made. Repeat the process on the other cheek. Make sure you take out all the insulation on that as well, scraping every bit of it. Otherwise the hat will sit crooked. Now using my impact and a 3 16 drill bit, I'll drill four holes into where I cut. That way my screws will line up and I won't miss. The chuck I'm using is a Makita impact chuck and it works fantastic for little holes up to 5 16 of an inch. I'll leave a product link in the description. It's really hard to miss actually after you set the hat inside. It doesn't really move that much. I made the hat out of 22 gauge galvanized metal. Something a little heavy to catch the screws good. It's something you can make out of whatever scrap you got lying around. After taking a measurement from in between the installed hats, I cut these veins to proper length. The vein set I'm using are standard Durodyne veins you can buy from a supply house. In my opinion, these vein sets really aren't anything that special and are kind of light duty. If the application is dealing with too much velocity, I'll have to weld something in house and fabricate it myself. So with the veins assembled, simply angle the set into the elbow and push it back straight again, tensioning it into place. Then simply screw it inside out. The screws I use don't go past even one inch hat track, so I'm confident these screws won't show up on the other side. See? Piece of cake. Just wrap it up and you're done. One thing I didn't show in this video is if you create a hole from pulling the pin earlier, just make sure you do a blob of silicone on that for pressure test reasons. There are some mistakes you can fix. And there's others that you can't. See you next time.